Welcome to Simple Cooking with Eric. And on today, uh, we're going to do boneless beef short ribs. Boneless beef short ribs. I'm going to show you how I do my uh, short ribs. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to brown them in this, on the stove first. And then I'm going to let them cook in the crock pot for about four hours on low. So let's get let's get our stove turned on. How are you all? How are you all doing? Uh, thank you all for subscribing and viewing the channel. I really appreciate it. Uh, the support, the love that I have been shown has been just overwhelming, and I really, really appreciate it. And don't forget, we got the Thanksgiving giveaway coming up next Saturday, October the twenty-first. I'm going to select five subscribers, and they're going to win a Thanksgiving dinner catered by me. And listen, uh, if you have not subscribed or your family members have not subscribed, please tell them to do so. I would like everyone to subscribe. And, and the more people in your family subscribe, the more you have a chance of winning, being the winner. Um, so here I have my skillet. As you want to see, I got it on high. I'm going to pour some oil in it, a little vegetable oil. And then while that is heating, and I'm going to prepare my short ribs. So I just have some Lori season salt right here. And what I'm going to do. I'm just going to give it all, just sprinkle it all over. And you all, this channel is cooking simple. I ain't going to say quick, but cooking does not have to be complicated. And, and you could do this so quick and fast and simple and easy. And I'm telling you, if you don't own a crock pot, invest in your crock pot. Y'all crock pots are so cheap. You get a nice one for like 20 bucks at Walmart, Big Lots. Okay? So if this is you a good crock pot, <clears throat> I mean it don't have to be a good, it could be a cheap one. I'm telling you, and if you and if you want, get you two of them. I got about four of them, I think. Um and you'll be surprised that the how much uh the helpful they are. Now I'm going to take, I'm going to take some flour. And I'm going to cover these in flour. Just give them a nice little toss of flour. Well, we got our skillet. It's getting hot. So make sure they get all covered with the flour. Yeah, what we're going to do, going to lay them in our skillet. These are boneless short ribs. Y'all know short ribs are expensive though. I think for just these few pieces here, it was like 14, almost 15 bucks at the meat market. Let those brown. Let 
Good and brown. Then you are, and I have my crock box pot. I'm gonna set this here because it's those brown. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do next. I'm gonna give you a little tip about uh, meat, beef, especially they say, uh, we went to a restaurant one time, we took my dad, my dad didn't like restaurant food, my dad, every Sunday, as you all know I told you all in our previous videos, is every Sunday, my dad uh, will cook, get up, and he will cook a big uh, Sunday dinner. <clears throat> but the Sunday dinner always consists of three things. Greens, whether it was collard, mustard, turner, or cabbage, cornbread, and sweet potatoes. And then whatever, then the, the entree, the meat and the other side just is varied. So you might have chicken and dumplings with green sweet potatoes and cornbread. Once you might have pot roast the next Sunday. Then you might have uh, uh, fried chicken or pot turner. Then you might have baked chicken and dressing the next Sunday. Then you might have baked pork chop, meatloaf. That always changed. But the same thing was we were known for years and years. Green sweet potatoes and cornbread. My dad will make every Sunday. So, you know, a lot of households uh, grew up with you. If you grew up in the 70s, well, I don't know. I grew up in the 70s and the 80s. You know, most households always had a big Sunday dinner, so some people come probably can relate to that. So we see, we start turning it. Y'all need some big uh, boneless short ribs too, if you can see. Now, while, while those cooking on the other side, as you all can see here, I have some sliced onions and green peppers. So I'm going to throw uh, some of these over in here on top of this. See? And then, as you all can see, a lot of flavor. Then, I'm going to put some at the bottom of my uh the bottom of my crock pot raw and then I'm gonna take a little crushed red pepper okay You all, it smells so good. So, so good. Now, while that is doing, I'm going to take I have about a cup and a half of water. A cup and a half of water. And if you all recall, 
Who y'all skip? I'm, I'm all over the camera. Trying to get something out of here. Here we go. Remember I was trying to invest in you some soup base, beef or chicken base. Invest in you with some of this. I'm going to take about. Man, let's try with a tablespoon. Let me work with this. Try to get it break, get it dissolved as much as I can. And then I'm going to take a little flour. And this is going to be the only liquid that I'm going to put in there. Okay, we do it so now. Look how nice and look how brown it is. That's all we want to do. Now, why did I add some of these onions and stuff? And because I want the flavor of both the cooked onions that's fried and green, but and I want the flavor of the raw onions because as this slowly cooks, the raw onions and everything is going to also have its own flavor. And you all can do this same technique with a pot roll. Uh, any type of beef that uh, you do the same technique that I'm doing now. Okay, can you all see? So now, all I'm going to do is layer, put our meat in here. All these sauteed onions and green pepper. Everything is over in this pot. And then you want to take the rest of these. You want to take your little juice stuff that you want. And all of this is like a beef stock. You want to take the rest of this. It'll, it'll all really dissolve once it's, when it's cooking. And you're going to cover it. 
And we're going to put this on the crock pot. We're going to let this cook for about two hours, and then we'll check it. Well, I'll get back to you. We'll check it in about two hours. A look at our short ribs. Oh, my God. Look at that, people. We want to take a look and see it. How they are coming along. But look at that. Sorry, I'm so we're gonna let these continue to cook. They're not quite tender. But we're gonna let those we're gonna let those continue to cook. I know I'm holding this camera with my hand. Look at that. Yeah, and they're great. So we're gonna let this uh continue to cook for about another hour and a half in the slow cooker. We now have our short ribs of beef. Remember, look at that. Look how nice these have come out. How short ribs of beef, they look at that. They all broke. They so tender. Okay. You see the gravy, how, how they made their own, how I made that, they already, I mean, you all, these are so tender. Look, how easy they look, how they just went to fork. Look at that. So, so easy, so good and tender. I'm Y'all mad if I taste these, right? Mm, mm, mm. You all, I tell you, you can't go wrong with cooking these in a, a crock pot. This is your a boneless short ribs of beef. Thank you all for watching, sharing, and subscribing. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. If you have a comment or question, you can email me at simplecushionwitheric at gmail.com. You all, these short ribs of beef are delicious. And I am going to do a video, to another one with the bone-in short ribs of beef. I just didn't throw them out. So, please, I thank you for uh, subscribing, watching, and viewing. I love you all. Remember, we live in a chaotic world with chaotic leaders. So remember to hold on to peace and treat each other the way that you would like to be treated. God bless. Until we see each other again, peace out. Love you.